good morning welcome to engineering physics class today i am going to explain about the scanning tunneling microscope so is a type of microscope to magnify the atom magnify the atom so normally it is invisible region invisible size so it's going to be magnified with the help of this scanning tunneling microscope so tunneling as earlier i explained this tam tunneling so penetration of a particular electron or light into a barrier so if any barrier is there is going to be penetrated when the electron is allowed to fall on it so that is a tunneling it's a method of entering electron from one region to other region through this barrier that is actually tunneling so the principle behind this scanning electron microscope is that is electron between the sharp metallic tip uh, of the probe and the surface of the sample tunneling tunneling of electron that means the entrance of electron between the sharp metallic tip of this probe so probe is going to be check the surface uh, defect anything and the surface of the sample in between surface and probe some space is there through that space it going to be penetrate uh, that means uh, the tunneling is that is known as tunneling so what about the principle tunneling of electron that means penetration of electron between the sharp metallic tip of this probe and the surface of this sample okay this is a basic principle behind this particular device then the construction what are the different parts uh, the available in this particular tunneling microscope scanning tip a scanning tip the electron tunnel from the scanning tip of the sample and to create the tunneling current actually scanning tip from that electron will come out is going to be penetrated so from that electron come out and penetrated so whenever the electron movement that is nothing but that is current so here the name of this current is tunneling current because electron which tunnel the particular area that enter this area uh, through this barrier so that is uh, here it barrier is in between the surface and the tip there is a space the space is occupied by air actually air is a poor conductor which do not allow the entrance of uh, electron so that air becomes a barrier so overcome this barrier and electron is enter into the surface and going to be detect the surface defect anything so that is why it is called by the name of tunneling okay so this next uh, the so by this way electron entrance into the surface through this gap is known as tunneling current then piezoelectric controlled scanner is also is a part of this uh, microscope that is piezoelectric crystal expand and contract is slightly due to this uh, application of the pressure and uh, external force it is used to control horizontal position x y and height of the scanning tip so piezoelectric controller which control the scanning tip whether the scanning tip is going to be move in x or y direction or in the z direction so it's going to be move along x y and z direction also in order to get the three dimensional image of the surface which is going to be detect so that's why this control is going to be taken place then distance control and scanning unit distance control and scanning unit it provide a course control over distance between thus this is very important part which is control the distance between this tip and the surface so already i pointed out that there is a gap between the surface and the tip for during this is scanning this distance is going to be controlled so it should be some minimum distance that distance is going to be controlled by 
distance controller and also scanning unit that is going to be scan uh, atom by atom. Okay. Then vibration isolation system. So, during the usage of this type of microscope, there is a vibration is possible when you are handling this, uh, this that means the scanning tip and this probe, there is a vibration. This vibration is going to be controlled by the vibration isolation system. It is isolate STM from the vibration since STM deal with the extremely fine position measurement. So, it should be avoided the vibration during the scanning and every time. So, otherwise it is not going to be scanned properly. That is why this uh, vibration isolation system is going to be used. Then the other uh, system is used here is computer. Computer which record tunneling current. So, how much the electron is going to be entered from the tip of the probe to the surface. So, that the tunneling current is taken place. So, the corresponding tunneling current is going to be measured with the help of this uh, current that means information available in the computer. So, computer record the tunneling current to produce three dimensional map of the sample. So, based on the output current which is get from this probe, it will give the three dimensional view of the surface which is going to be detected. So, this is a uh, parts, the important parts of the uh, microscope that is scanning tunneling microscope. So, see here, this is actually probe. This uh, probe is a, that means a tip of the probe. The tip of the probe and the uh, crystal or the surface whose uh, uh, that means uh, arrangement of atom or the going to the view is going to be find out. There is a distance between this probe and uh, the particular surface, uh, some minimum uh, distance is also there. Here the piezoelectric control system is there and uh, vibration controller everything, distance controlling unit. So, this is a uh, separate uh, diagram which shows the arrangement of atom in the particular surface uh, is going to be uh, measured or whose, whose uh, electron that means arrangement of atom is going to be detected. So, like this arrangement. This is the arrangement of atom in the surface. This is a tip, tip of this uh, probe. So, there is a gap. You see here, this is a gap between this uh, tip and this uh, arrangement of atom in a particular surface. So, that is uh, recorded separately. Then the last one is the computer where the uh, three dimensional image of the surface is going to be delivered based on the uh, current that means uh, tunneling current is get during this usage. These are the construction part. So, what about the construction? What is scanning electron microscope? What is the principle behind this, uh, this scanning electron microscope which is going to be scan the surface of the material based on that how the arrangement of atom for a particular surface is there everything is going to be understood by using this one and visibly we can able to see the arrangement of atoms. That is a very important one microscope. So, here the principle is tunneling effect. Tunneling means it is a method of passage of this electron through the barrier. Here the barrier is air gap between the probe and the surface because air is a poor conductor. So, which prevent the entrance of electrons. Uh, overcome that uh, prevention, electron may enter into the surface by giving the uh, external field and uh, based on the <coughs> electron entrance into the surface, some tunneling current will be produced. Based on the tunneling current, uh, the uh, that means three dimensional view of the arrangement of the atom in a particular material is going to be recorded on a, a particular uh, that means uh, computer. <coughs> so, the working procedure is now the control is switch on when the control is switch on and the necessary voltage is given to this probe the small air gap that already I mentioned that uh, there is a air gap between the probe and the surface of the material. So, um, uh, small air gap should be maintained between the tip of that air gap is actually the uh, that means barrier that barrier is going to be 
penetrated by the entrance of electron that is a method we called as tunneling. The tunneling current flow through this particular circuit only if the tip, of, tip is in contact with the sample. When the tip is going to be in contact with the <coughs> Uh, that means sampled through a small air gap. For maintaining a constant current, the distance between the tip and the sample should be adjusted continuously. The topography of sample, topography that means the uh, entire arrangement of atom is going to be uh, find out, uh, that, that, uh, that can be visibly available on that particular computer. So, this is uh, a very simple method to Identify the arrangement of atom in a particular material, whether it is a, a perfect arrangement or any defects are there, surface defect, everything can be determined with the help of this <coughs> microscope. <coughs> so, the advantages, what the advantages when we are using this type of microscope for scanning in the surface of the material, it's, it gives three dimensional profile of surface, they can be operated at a low temperature. So, three dimensional view is going to be obtained by using this. This STM that means a simple tunneling microscope can be used ultra high vacuum. So, extreme. this is going to be operated in the uh, that means uh, high vacuum scanning tunneling microscope. STM can be used in ultra high vacuum. Then these are the advantages. Then disadvantages, it required a lot of skill and uh, precision. So, there is a, a practice, you need some practice to handle this particular devices to uh, scan the atoms in a particular materials. So, STM is used. So, otherwise it is difficult to find out the uh, topography of the uh, particular material surface. STM use highly specialized equipment is highly specialized that means it's specially designed one so in order to use this properly we must take some care so these are the advantage and disadvantage so by this we are able to scan the material surface okay so that is the stm so by this i conclude this video we'll meet in the next video thank you